So you've been playing around with generating images using Stable Diffusion and Automatic 1111, but they're kind of lacking in detail. They're not really sharp, and you would like to add more to it to really get that professional, high quality, high resolution photo. In today's video, we're gonna go over the easiest ways for you to add details and sharpness to your photo to get that professional look. So let's get started. I'm going to assume that you know the basics of settings and prompts in Automatic 1111, so I won't do a whole introduction on that, but I just want to quickly define two things, checkpoints and LoRa's. A checkpoint is basically a large model trained to produce certain types of images or certain styles. For example, the popular checkpoint Chill Out Mix is trained to produce beautiful female models. This other checkpoint, called Pastel Mix, is trained to produce anime images in a pastel style. So a checkpoint is basically a large model trained to produce a certain style of images. The next term is LoRa. So a LoRa is a smaller file that you can use to slightly modify a checkpoint. For example, let's say you want to add Donald Trump's face to an image. You can use this LoRa for that. Or let's say you want to add an otter to your photo. You can use this LoRa. Your checkpoint wasn't originally trained with Donald Trump's face or with an otter. That's why you need to add these LoRa's to supplement your checkpoint. So think of LoRa's as small tools that you can add to your model based on whatever you want to produce. This is important because what I'm going to show you next is we're going to use a LoRa to add details and add more sharpness to our photo. Alright, so I'm in the Automatic 1111 dashboard now. You can see I'm using Chill Out Mix NI as the checkpoint. So let's go ahead first and generate an image. And then I'm going to show you how to add more details and sharpness to that image so you can see a before and after comparison. So we're going to add in this prompt and then add in a negative prompt. For the sampling method, we're just going to keep it at Euler A. This tends to be super fast. Sampling steps, let's leave it at 20, that's more than enough. Let's check restore faces to remove any deformities on the face. And then for width, let's use 700 by 900. Batch count, batch size, we're just going to generate one image for now, CFG scale, let's leave it at 7. So what this basically is, is how much you want the model to follow your prompt. If you drag this all the way to the right, then it's going to follow your prompt exactly, but it's going to give you some weird artifacts, some strange results. If you drag it all the way to the left, then it's not going to follow your prompt at all and give you a completely random image. So usually the default value of 7 works really well. And then for the seed, let's go with this one. So let's click generate and see what we get. All right, so here's our image. You can see it's all right, but you can see the colors are kind of washed out. The sharpness isn't really there. I would really like to add more details, especially to her face, to her hair, and even to the kimono. You can see that the contrast and the tonality is kind of lacking. So let's see what we could do to add more details to this image. So the reason why I mentioned checkpoints and LoRa's in the beginning is because we're going to add one more LoRa to our photo, which is going to give it way more details. And this LoRa is called Add More Details detail enhancer. So I'll paste in the link in the YouTube description below where you can download this for free or you can just search it up on civitai.com. But I'll just show you a few examples you can see. Without adding the LoRa it looks like this. It's kind of washed out and faint like our photo. Once you add the LoRa and you increase the weight then you can see it gives you a lot of details. Here's another example. Without the LoRa you get this with the LoRa and if you increase the weight you get a lot more details. So we're going to try that out on the image that we just generated. So first of all what you need to do is click download and this is going to save a more details.savetensors file. Once you've downloaded it 
in your stable diffusion web UI folder. I'm running this on Colab, so the interface is a bit different, but it's the same folder structure. So you should have all these different folders and under models, under Laura, that's where you should save your more details.safe tensors file. So here I can just upload it real quick, but I've already uploaded it. So you can see I have this Laura here. And to make sure that you do have this LoRa and it's connected to your automatic interface, go back to your automatic dashboard, click this pink icon here, and in the tab LoRa, you should be able to see your newly imported LoRa. If you don't, just click refresh and you should see it. So now that we've generated this image, the next step is to send it to image to image. So we just simply click this button and it sends it to image to image, as you can see. So we're just going to, we're not gonna resize this, so we're gonna keep the same width of 700 by 900. We're gonna keep everything else the same. The only thing we're gonna add is the LoRa. So how we add it is again, we click this pink button under the tab LoRa, click more details. And once I click it, you should see it adds it up here. Right, if I click this again, it removes it. So let's just add it here. And then you can see this number following this lower name is the weight you assign to it. If it's zero, then basically it's not influencing the image at all. If it's one, it's influencing it by a lot. If it's two, it's influencing by double the amount. So you can play around with the weights that create the best image. So you can do like 0.5 or we're just gonna go with one and see what happens. And then the next step is to set the denoising strength. So what this is, is basically how much it should follow the original image that you pasted in here, right? So if you set this all the way to zero, then nothing will change. It's, ju it's just gonna give this original image. If you set it to one, then it's going to give a completely random image. And so let's just set it to like 0.46, around like halfway and see what it gives us. So we're going to click generate. Wow, look at that. So you can see it has a lot more details than the original image, right? The, the lighting is a lot better, the, the tonality, the details of her hair, her face, the kimono, it's just a lot better. So that's the easiest way you can add more details to the photo. Given that you've played around with everything else, you've increased the sampling steps, but it still just looks washed out, the colors aren't there, simply slap on this add more details Laura and it's going to give you a lot more details. Let's try it with a sampling weight of 0.5 and 2 and see what it gives us as well. All right, so you can see if I set this to two, which is kind of overboard, you usually shouldn't go past one for the lower weight. If you go past two, then it gives kind of too much detail and it kind of gives you a, a grainy HDR look that doesn't seem very photorealistic. But if you like this style, then you can set it to a higher weight. So this is a super easy way to add more details to your photo. Here's another way. Let's say we generated this image, right? It's washed out. This is our original image that we generated. If you want to just add a bit more sharpness without changing the resolution, without changing the settings, what you can do is go to extras. So you can just send to extras and then we're not gonna resize it. We'll keep it at one, but you can just select an upscaler to kind of sharpen it a bit. So I usually like to go with 4x ultra sharp if you're working with anime then this one works very well but let's go with 4x ultra sharp and all you need to do is click generate so there you go it's very similar to the original image but you can see the sharpness is more pronounced and it just adds a very subtle sharpness filter to your image 
And that is all. Two completely free, super easy ways for you to increase the details and sharpness of your photos in Stable Diffusion and Automatic 1111. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And also, we built out a site where you can search for over 5,000 AI tools for whatever your needs. Check it out at ai-search.io.